all I'm recording here is just your screen, so that that's all I can see, and and then of course your voice. Um, but if we want to just go ahead and start your layout from scratch here, and we'll take a look at that crop. Okay, and then kind of just, if you can walk me through what you're doing here. Okay, I am, well, I'm moving over past the first block, but I'm setting a second block. Mm -hmm. um, with all the perimeters to probably making it too large, but I'm going all the way up to the, to the green line, which was my quilt area. Okay. And I'm finishing that block. So I have that block now, and you want me to select my pattern, correct? Right, yeah, we'll load the one that we were working with. And what I do next, you'll have to stop me, but I go to the pantograph. Okay. No, I thought it did. It's not going there, is it? Well, what you clicked on there was the entire quilt area, um, which, you know, gives you a reference for um, the entire length of the quilt. Um, so you could say, this is how many passes I want to do on this quilt. That's what that is right there. Okay. We're going to say it's 14, and we're going to do one and a half passes, don't you think? Well, I can't do that. Point five. Okay. That goes to 14. All right, let's do this. Mm -hmm. Did you... so I'm going to put 14 inches for my space. It's going back to 72. It's not letting me change it. Let's take a look at it. Let's make sure we're on the right one. So you're trying to, which one are you doing, the quilt length or? I was trying to do both. I'm trying to make the quilt length 14. Uh-huh. About that. Huh, for some reason. And I've got 14 in there and I hit the check, but it's. Can you just hit the X for me, real quick? Okay. I'm hitting it here. Is it not? There, there it goes. Okay. That was odd. Okay, so. where? Which one are you trying to do first? The quilt length? Right. Okay, I'm, I thought I'd make it 14. Okay. Oh, is that what you were doing? Okay. So let's try and okay, fourteen. Huh, why isn't that changing? It's not changing, huh? Let's see. Oh, uh, I think I know why. Let's that would be why. We don't have a pattern on there. <laughs> we were in the um so we were this is the entire quilt area that we were on. Um okay. right here. And then this here is yep right. so that's the one that was changing okay okay so now what i would basically do is fill the area so i'd hit the icon and it fills the area okay so we do a smart scale but, but when when it's actually on your quilt it's you're going to have like a half of an area you know this says one pass let's put 1.5 mm -hmm. And you're going to have to pop some of it. Because when you get down to that second pattern, the second pass, uh -huh. it's like we have up here, it will, you know, right. you only want half of the second row. Okay, so the second pass. that's your first pass. So let's let's look at this real do. quick here. I want to see both of, or let's see, it should show everything on there. Oh, wrong one. I need to click on this one to see. Um, let's see, it's not showing up on my side yet. Oh, it's not showing me that second half. Um, it, it doesn't. Mm -mm. It didn't me either. And even when uh -huh. you get to the second half and you crop it, you can't go back to that full view, your whole quilt. Right. Let, let me just see what happens when I put two in here real quick. Because mm -hmm. I should be able to see. There we go. Now I can see two. So if we do two like this, It'll. We can see the second row there. It, it's just not um, cutting out or showing the second one because it's only a partial. Um, okay. So that's good to know there. 
but if we do two, we can see exactly where we need to crop it there. So right. that's that's just what I wanted to see is, is why that half wasn't showing up. Um, but yeah, that that's the same place. So you could you could just do a solid number like this, and that way you can see um, that second one. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that's that's kind of where we want to do. So we that's where we want to crop it, right? Do we want any spacing between these, or do we want them touched just like that? Uh, pretty much just like it is. Okay. We'll we'll leave it as is then. So this is what okay. we'd be looking at. So just this top section here, it or I, I've got a mouse here that I'm showing. So but the top section I'm circling um, that's inside of the box that's what we're, we want to leave in there and crop out everything else. So right. with this, um, we could possibly, just to make this easier, rather than trying to do an applique and bother with two boxes, what we can do is come in here to um, our repeat. And what I'm going to do instead of make a second box and try to do an applique, I'm just going to repeat this down one more time vertically. So we're we're doing exactly what we just showed on the quilt area. Oh, I just lost I lost K. So now we've got the two patterns loaded exactly how we had it on that uh that entire quilt layout. So I'll just come to crop and we can just use the standard crop feature. What that does oh this might this might be a little different. Uh let me go here make sure we're in the right box. Hopefully this doesn't this does what I want it to. Okay, so we have the right box selected here, um, the, the box with the pattern. So if I hit the standard crop, it should crop out everything outside of that pattern box. And this is the one on the left-hand side. Um, it, it's the first one. So if I do that, let's see That's if it does. Used, yeah. And this is the one you used as well? I used that for the first, you know, on the quilt. On the first, yeah, the first time I did it, I used that one. Okay. So this here just cropped out everything below there. I don't see any additional lines or anything. I, I think this pattern looks good. So I think our crop is, is good there. Um, so I think we can, we can go ahead and stop right here. Um, you may want to just run this entire thing um, when I get off with you. Um, and just uh -huh. let me know after that if we do run into any more. But I, I'd like to take a sec to do a little bit more... Um, education with you if that's all right uh, okay okay so let me let me just stop you here if that's okay um, just gonna hit stop now I'm gonna go back into edit here so that the way that we did crop earlier I think would be best for this situation where we just had some hanging and we just wanted to cut out like half of the the box or the pa half the pattern like that um, just doing it the way we did it this way was probably better. And this way you can just stitch, you know, the first row and then your half row and it's all in one, especially where we're, we're okay. within the pattern box. But if we wanted to, let, let me show you when we, you'd want to use an applique. So say we wanted to cut out like the middle of this, um, this pattern here. Say you wanted to put another like square in there and you wanted to do another mm -hmm. pattern in that square. What you could do is set a, a new pattern box on the inside, kind of like we talked about before for the applique. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Just send, set a, a smaller quilt area, just kind of right in the center, um, or a smaller pattern box right in the center of this pattern box. Now, when we set this pattern box, now I go to edit and crop it out. Not, not yet. So if you look here, we're looking at an empty pattern box. Um, let, let, let me go back for just a sec. So we're looking at the pattern box we just sent. It's empty. We don't have any patterns in this one. So we actually need to be on this pattern box here, the one that has it. Now, if I hit the show all pattern boxes, now we'll see the the red box and this is what we're going to cut out is this red box here um, but we want to make sure that when we do an applique crop that we have the pattern box selected with the pattern loaded on it so that that's just okay. one thing we need to make sure of there now if we go into edit 
and then go into crop, we will look at the appliques, and I'll show you both of them. Okay. So go ahead and click on edit for me. Okay. Oh, you're on patterns. Go to edit. Uh oh. I always hit that. Yeah. All right. And then after okay. Today. And then the crop on the side. Uh huh. Okay. Now you got your your two in the the cent the one in the center and the one on the right. Those are your applique crops. Um, like I mentioned before, the applique inside is going to cut out the inside. The applique outside will will leave it. Uh, will cut out everything outside of it. Um, let me click on the show all again. That way we know where we're going to cut this out. So go ahead and select that applique inside that center icon there. Okay. Oh, that was a li little backwards from what I thought it was. So that. That left uh, everything on the inside, okay. um, but if we just hit the undo and use the other one, so now hit the one on the right and it should, there we go, just cut out everything in the center. So that, that's kind of how you use the applique, um, applique features if you want to cut something out of a pattern or you know cut out the outsides. Otherwise, the traditional crop would be the way to go. Like I said, that just cut, works with a single pattern box and we'll cut out everything outside of that pattern box. So, does that make sense? It does, but I have a question for yeah. you. Yeah. I'm doing a complete quilt. We used uh, the width of my machine that I had 14 inches of quilting space, so that's what we made this one that we did earlier, 14 inches. We went in and we filled up the block and, and cropped off the bottom, but if my quilt is 72 inches, mm -hmm. And I move that up to the next full block, then at some point I'm going to have to go. Can you crop that off at that time before it's, you know, ahead of time? Or do you have to wait till you get to the bottom of your quilt? Mm -hmm. See, that's where I started cropping. I got right. the last pass on my quilt, and it was a half a pass. And I thought, if I let it continue, it's going to stitch into my leader. So I had to. Do crop, I had to make a box and do everything outside the box. Oh. Which may not have been the best way to do that. Uh-huh. No, I think because, because you have to work from, like, the, the top of the quilt to the bottom, um, mm -hmm. yeah, you would want to wait until the very end to, to crop that out um, because you want your full rows going down until the end where you have your half row. Right. So you wouldn't want, like, a half row all the way down you'd want to make sure that you had full rows and then your half row so right. yeah working top to bottom would be correct in that set so when i get to the bottom the best way to handle that would be to call back up my layout and crop out everything across the top of the full pattern and then crop out everything outside or would i go to this crop that we're using here except crop everything outside of the box. Like, like I said, if you wanted to just do a half, I would do it the way we did before with a standard crop. Um, and so, okay. yeah, anything that you have that is below your, your quilt um, or below that um, where, where you want to cut it out, if that's outside of your, your little pattern box that you've defined, it'll just cut that off. It'll cut the bottom just straight out. So if you wanted to do a half pattern like that, yeah, I would recommend just using the standard crop. Okay. Well, okay. That's what I used before. Okay. And uh, so, okay. Well, that makes sense. I'll play around with it because I'm getting ready to load a, load that baby quilt back up and we'll do something with it. Okay. Sounds All right. great. Well, is that everything? That's it. Thank All you right. very much. Thanks. Have a great day.